When we talk about computer science education, we talk about learning to code, and we talk about coding, a lot of times the thing that we're conceptualizing is writing code from scratch, starting with a blank file and then ending up with something. And a lot of the things that we learn how to do when we're theoretically learning to code involve that step. However, professionally, what we end up doing the vast majority of the time is reading and analyzing and understanding and debugging code that either we didn't write or we wrote long enough ago that we no longer have context on this code anymore what we end up doing most of the time is not writing code from scratch, but rather attempting to spelunk code that already exists to understand why it is the way it is in order to make the changes that we need to make. And I think what's interesting about the advent of generative tools is that they are theoretically, according to this conversation about whether they'll take away software engineers' jobs, that sort of conversation to me is predicated on this idea that they are able to replicate the skills that developers are using the most often. And a lot of times the skill that we think of as the developer skill is the writing of the code from scratch. But a lot of the understanding of the code that already exists is a thing for which we still need existing developer skill sets.